Hello folks. You know, I originally got this Radio Master TX16S because I was told that I could program cross trims into the transmitter like we used to regularly do for our customers and I actually did for myself when I worked at Kraft RC Systems back in the 70s. It was logical because the cross trims you didn't have to remove your fingers or thumb from the stick you were trimming. This is great in contests because the trimming was smooth, you didn't have to fumble around to try to find a trim switch. Well, one of the things I really don't like right away about this transmitter, and there really isn't a lot to not love because this thing is fantastic, is the mechanical location of the two top rear switches, SF and SH. You see, for years I've flown Spectrum and Futaba and my kill switches are on the right rear on top and the momentary timer switch is on the left on top. But on a radio master, the kill switch is on the top left and the timer momentary on the right. It's opposite. You know, everything I own seems to have some unique things that I have each switch does, but the normal kill switch is on the right. So I decided to investigate and found this pair of switches that can be swapped to do what I and many others are used to and having the kill switch on the right rear top. This is really a very quick and easy way to do it. After you see this process, we're going to program it and test it on my green Eachine 180 and see how that works. Also, for those of you who are subscribed to Model Airplane News Magazine, you can see my review on the Eachine 180 in an upcoming issue. Model Airplane News is one of the last magazines still standing, so you might want to support them and maybe subscribe. I think you'll like it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open it up and see how easy it is to switch these two switches. So let's go ahead and begin. Let me shut it off. Okay, the screws in this thing are these um, two millimeter hex screws. Oh, there's one there. And I'm going to go ahead and pull a battery out of here. There we go. All right, to get this off, you've got to pull these rubber side things off. think. I don't know why, but oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm going to unplug these two right now. This one and this one. So that way I can work on this. Okay, we're going to remove that. So they're right there. Pull this out. Okay, and we're going to pull this off, and we're going to put in the new switch.
Okay. Okay, now we gotta plug this in. Okay. Put this back. That's good. All right, let's see. There. Okay. Okay, I programmed in my three throttle curves, three pitch curves, reversed two channels, set up my new kill switch, put a picture in for the CSG 180. So this is a test and a short flight and then my comments about this radio at the end. So here we go. And you guessed it. I got the floats from a couple of cat toy handles. <laughs> okay, this is the STX software. I've got it all programmed now. I, I've got my uh, model settings in here. Edge has got, uh, you know, all of this is uh, all uh, touch screen. So you can just do everything you want here. I've got my, uh, uh, let's see here, my mix is all set up. So you can see the mixes, how I've set them up for this 180. These are the outputs to the uh, channels. And uh, that right there are all my uh, curves for the throttle and then the uh, pitch curves that I've dialed in. And then the special functions I've got set up over here so I can do uh, like the kill switch and stuff. And you know, that is the uh, setup. So anyway, we're all set. Let's go fly this thing and see what happens.
Okay, here's what I actually think of this Radio Master okay. TX16S. First of all, this is a very powerful radio with the Hall Effect sensors on the main sticks, uh, touch color screen, voice control, voice speaking, programming beyond your imagination. You know, I like the feel, albeit with the gimbal lights, the sticks are slightly shorter, so my stick finger enhancers, erasers, really work well as they have Boy. for many, many years. So programming is easier than I thought it would be, and learning what each icon means is a big help. And so far, it's working really well. I programmed in all the half rates, throttle cut, throttle curves, throttle mixes, the really pitch curves, as well as the gyro mode and the timer. Now to do another is simple. I could just save this as a template for more and voila. I can fly my other two Eachine 180s with the exact same parameters. Well, I like it and it really feels like and it looks nice, but alas, I still cannot program the cross trims. This stick has got some kind of a, it feels like a fluid dampener. It's nice. Unlike, you know, you've got this, but you've got that. So I hope you folks that like the throttle cut on the right top as in Spectrum and like me too, but are switching to the Radio Master, shows you how to easily make the switch changes. So thanks so kindly for watching and happy flying. This is Dave Herbert, the Night Flyer, signing off till the next episode.